Good evening, Guillermo. How are you tonight? Uh, good evening, teacher. Uh, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. And you, how are you today? I'm doing very good. Thank you very much for asking as well. All right. So how was um, your date and your job? Um, how, how do you say um was oh, pesado, movido? Was, you could say it was a hard date. It was, yeah, it, it was a hard day. It was a hard I day. I have a lot of work to do. Really? Yeah. So were you back to back tonight? Uh, yes. Really? Since I begin my shift until the end of my shift. And at what time do you normally start your shift? Um, well, it depends because if I want to do OT mm -hmm. overtime, mm -hmm. I can do it from 6.30 a.m. Mm -hmm. until 11 p.m. Because my chief starts at 7, 7 a.m. until 2.30 p.m. Mm -hmm. Okay. But nice. today I, I only... I only did my chief. Which is like how many hours? Eight hours? Nine hours? Ten hours? Um seven point five. Seven point five. So you have short dates or long days? Mm, I have five long days and okay. one short date. And one short date. Okay. That's interesting. And do you have weekends off or do you work on the weekends? Mm, this weekend I have my off on Friday and I have to work all, all the weekend. All right. Great, great, great. Excellent. I see. Well, guys, uh, thank you, Guillermo, for this conversation. Truly appreciate it. All right. So, um, guys, uh, just regarding the camera, uh, I don't know what happens here with the, the, with the settings, right? But the camera cannot be, I cannot access to the camera right now, okay? So I will try to fix it, and whenever I can, I will be able to, to share the camera, okay? All right, let's see. Let's do this one right here. Okay, we're just waiting for your classmates to join the class. I can see here. Um... Edwin, Guillermo that we already talked, Catherine, Miguel, which is which is listener, who's a listener right now, Mr. Pardo, who will be joining the class in like 30 minutes, and Reina, all right? Mr. Membreño, good evening. Good evening, Jimmy. Right. So let's see here. Let's see this one. One second here. All right, bear with me one quick second, please. We're just waiting here for the classmates. Good evening, Ursula. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Thanks. Thank you. Good. I'm, I'm okay. Thank you. Great. Excellent. So, how was your day tonight? I mean, how was your day at work? At work, um, I, I was a little sick. I had a, a little headache in the afternoon. 
but I'm still better. Oh, really? Yes. Oh my goodness. And is it like that every single day or um, just a specific days? Mm, sometimes uh, I pass around two days with uh, a headache. Mm. Then uh, I pass, the, um, for example, one or two months. Mm -hmm. And then we, and then again. Mm -hmm. oh. <sighs> but it doesn't last for a long yeah. time. Um, a long time. Sometimes. All right. What has been the longest you have gone with that situation? Um. Uh, excuse me, Nuria. Hazel Cardona, I need your help. Can you call me? Hazel Cardona, if you can hear me, I need your help. Can you call me? Thank you. I'm sorry. Go ahead, uh, Ursula. Um, um uh, around the uh, one year ago um I, I was um in about two weeks with with the pain. Mm -hmm. But um I took some pills. And mm -hmm. I feel better, but now I'm uh, around two years, one year, I take a pill and they, they have it. Um, uh, how do you say? Um, uh, mm -hmm. Se me quita, o sea, <laughs> it's gone. Uh -huh. It's gone. I don't the headache is gone. But I I I used to um, how do you say that he aprendido a vivir con el dolor? You can say, I have learned to live with that. Uh, I... Yes, I have learned to live with that. Repeat. I have learned to live with that. Okay, that's correct. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. So, well, let's see here. Let's see, let's see. One second, chat guys. Okay, let's see. Excellent. All right, guys. So sorry here. I was just like trying to access here to my camera, but for some reason I have no access to it tonight. Um well, but let's just continue right here. Can you see the screen? Yes, right? Yeah. Excellent. Thank you very much. All right. So let's just move forward right now to the next um, activity, which is, as you know, right? So a tongue twister here. All right. And the tongue twister that we have for tonight, it's the following. Can you see it now? Yeah. Excellent. All right. So we have some words right there. So we need to practice before we go and say then tongue twister. So this is imagine, repeat it, imagine. 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 All right, excellent. So then you got this one, an imaginary, repeat it. An imaginary. Okay, an imaginary, very good. And then you go with this one right here. 
Okay, so uh, let's just continue with this one. What's that word? How do you pronounce it? Menagerie. Repeat it. Menagerie. No, me no. Menagerie. 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 It would be like, for example, uh, let's see, like this one. Menagerie. Like that. Mm -hmm. Menagerie. Do you see that? Yeah. Yeah, menagerie. How do you pronounce it? Menagerie. How do you pronounce it? Menagerie. Well, actually, but we're going to make a modification. We're going to change it a little bit there. It's going to be like this one. Menagerie. Let's see. Menagerie. With the intonation there. Menagerie. And what's that one? Menagerie. 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 Casa de fieras. All right. So, like that menagerie. All right. So. Mm -hmm. All right. Exactly. So imagine an imaginary menagerie manager managing an imaginary menagerie. Imagine an imaginary menagerie manager managing an imaginary menagerie. Like that. Easy, right? Hello, hello, hello. Questions? Are you sure? Easy. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is easy. Do you want me to repeat the words? I will do it slowly. It says here, imagine an imaginary menagerie manager. Managing an imaginary menagerie. Imagine an imaginary menagerie manager. Managing an imaginary menagerie. Easy. It's as easy as A, B, C. Mm -hmm. Everybody practicing, please. Like that. It's as easy as A, B, C. Super fast. All right. So practice, 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 practice. All right. So let's see here. Okay, very good. Let's see this one. It will be imagine an imaginary menagerie manager. Managing an imaginary menagerie. Imagine an imaginary menagerie manager. Managing an imaginary menagerie. One more minute, one more minute, one more minute. Everybody, everybody participating. Okay, okay. Okay, what's that? Mm -hmm. Okay, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Okay, time's up. Now I need some volunteers. Who's going to be my first volunteer? Let me see. Volunteer, volunteer, volunteer. Who is it? Me, teacher. Excellent, Eduardo. Go ahead. Imagine an imaginary manager. Imagine an imaginary manager. Imagine an imaginary manager. Imagine an imaginary manager. Very good, excellent. I, you were saying like, oh my God, no, too difficult. That was easy for you, right? Let's see. 
Uh, okay, thank you. So the next volunteer here is Nuria. All right, Nuria, go ahead. Imagine an imaginary menagerie, manager managing an imaginary menagerie. Imagine an imaginary menagerie, manager managing an imaginary menagerie. All right, great, excellent, super nice, Nuria. Easy, easy, easy. Usted ya practicado, right? I guess, yes. Very good. Excellent. Anybody else? Another volunteer? Hello, hello? Who is it? Who is it? Who's my volunteer? Ursula. Okay, Ursula. Thank you. Go ahead. Imagine an imaginary menagerie manager. Imagine an imaginary menagerie. Imagine an imaginary manager, manager, managing an imaginary manager. Excellent. Thank you very much. This one, very good job. All right. Super nice as usual. All right. So let's see. Next one, next one, next one. Quickly, my friends. We can do it. Come on. Let's see. Who's the next one? Uh huh. Oh, Mr. Membreño. Hello. Hello, hello. How are you? Yeah. Okay. Easy, right? Not really fast. I try. Excellent. That's the attitude. Okay. Say that. Imagine an imaginary manager. manager. Managing an imaginary manager. Imagine an imaginary manager. 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 An imaginary manager. <laughs> don't worry that's actually the reason why we are practicing right because you know we got something easier okay. easier easier all right so let's see thank you you did a good job don't worry right so the purpose is to try right then let's continue with the next one um let's see one volunteer more we have edwin we have giovanni all right, Henry Giovanni. Ah, listen, there says. Okay. Guillermo, what happens with you? You can be a participant, of course. Catherine. All right. Noé. Uh huh. She's going to be my volunteer. Uh huh. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. Me, teacher. Thank you, Catherine. Go ahead, please. Imagine an imaginary manager, manager, managing an imaginary manager. Imagine an Im imaginary mm -hmm. manager. All right. A man uh -huh. Managing an imaginary manager. Managing. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Right. I truly appreciate that one. Right. The purpose is to continue practicing. All right, guys. Good job. And thank you to everybody who participated. Right. So uh, let's see. Now let's just continue with this one. And uh, let me just continue here. Let me clean the screen so we can see it. OK. So now let's see what happens here. OK. So we are going to have a review. A review, a review about yesterday's um, topic, right? So we are going to be reading this, um, you know, statements here. And then you guys are going to tell me if they are true or false based on the information that we were reading last night, right? Of course, that's what I'm trying to say, okay? So let's see, now I need a volunteer who can help me to read number one. Please, who's my volunteer? Hmm? Me, teacher. Thank you, Catherine. Go ahead with number one, my friend. Identifying employee training need involves exploring overall performance, comparing with similar organization and considering industry specific require requirement. requirements. Requirements, repeat it. 
requirement. Requirements. All right, great, excellent. Thank you very much on this one, okay? And now we are going to uh, continue here. And then let's just check the next one. It says, identifying a previous training needs involves exploring overall performance, comparing with similar organizations and considering industry specific requirements. Is it true? Yes or no, my friends? Yes, it's true. Uh -huh. Have somebody says yes. What about the rest? Mm -hmm. It's true. It's true. It's true. Excellent. All right. Very good. Very good. There you go. Now let me just. Oh my goodness. One second here. Sorry. Okay, here it is. Okay, so this is going to be true. Very good. Excellent. What about number two? Who can help me to read number two? Mm -hmm. Managing the training and development of employees in close Recognizing. Uh, recognizing. Recognizing company Correct. goals. Identify competencies. Conducting a gap anal analysis. Uh, and, and offering formal training option. Okay, very good. So, uh -huh. managing the training and development of employees includes recognizing company goals, identifying competencies, conducting a gap analysis, analysis and offering formal training um, options. True or false? Mm -hmm. What do you think? True. Uh -huh. True. True. Yay, 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 yay. All right, excellent. So, it's going to be true. Excellent. Volunteer for number three. Mm -hmm. Great, okay, thank you. Go ahead, my friend. Identifying training need is important because it helps employees become more productive, efficient, and innovative in their work. Thank you. Good job reading. So that's true or false? It's true. It's also true. Very good. Excellent. So we have this one as well. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's see. Thank you. Number four, volunteer. Mm -hmm. Yep. Me, teacher. Thank you very much. This is going to be a uh, Catherine again, right? Mm -hmm. Was okay. Or Ursula, do you want to read? You can do it, no problem. Yes, okay. Okay. So thank you, Catherine, for being the volunteer. Ursula is going to do it. All right. Go ahead. Um, a training needs assessment evaluate the specific information and skills that employees need to contribute to the company's strategies goals. Okay, thank you. So that is correct or incorrect? I mean, true or false? Yep. True, teacher. Is it true, true. also? Yay, that's actually true. Okay, okay. So let's see here. All right. I'm writing that right here. And let's see if the last one is false or what happens. All right. Who can help me now read the last one? Uh -huh. Who's my volunteer? Ah, people. Me, teacher. Thank you, Nuria. Go ahead. Me, teacher. Go ahead, my friend. Okay. Employees can benefit from proper training. Okay. 
ejemplo, de, by performing better in their roles and contribu contributing uh, to the company's strategic goals. Okay, so true or false? Mm -hmm. What is it? True? Yes, all of them were true. Yes, 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 yes. All right. Thank you. And thank you very much for participating on all these things here. Hey, guys, do you have questions about vocabulary? No questions? No, teacher. Okay, very good. Excellent. So let's just continue with the next activity. Let me clean here that screen again. All right, so uh, let's see. Oops. Yes, there you go. Excellent. So, okay, everybody, it's time for you to like discuss the first activity in groups. All right, so we can go ahead and check this one. It says right here, hey, everybody, please, I need a volunteer here for the activity, uh, for reading the activity, please. Activity number five here, please read it, read it, read it, read it, read it, read it, volunteer. Good. What these terms relate the training and personal development to their main meaning? Meaning. Meaning. Check answer with a placement. Okay, thank placement. you very much, Mr. Membreño. So just repeat with me these three words, please. Related. Related. Very good. Meanings. Meanings. Answers. Answers. No, no answer. Answer. Answers. Yeah, it's, it would be like, like if you're saying, for example, this one. Answer. Repeat it. Answer. Uh -huh. All right. So like that one. Thank you very much. Okay. Excellent. So right now we are going to work in, in couples or a group of three, depending on the amount of people in the breakout room. So we can actually discuss and read the following words and match them. All right. So let's see the first one right here. Uh, it says, Ursula, you can participate. So you can go here with this one. Evelyn, oyente, okay. So you go here. Jill Mejivar, are you already, are you already ready? Jill, Jill, Jill. Good evening, yes, teacher. Yes, ready, awesome. All right, so Mr. Luna, good evening. Are you able to participate? Yes, I do, teacher. Excellent. Yes, I am. All right. Yes, great. I am. Yes, I am. Okay, great. Excellent. So let's see here. I'm going to go here. Edwin and Sonia, are you ready to participate? Yes, teacher. Uh, what about Edwin? Okay, uh, let's see here. Okay. Guillermo, ready? Yes. Eduardo and Daniel. Yes. Thank you. Eduardo and Daniel. All right, so let's see here. Try to okay. Six. Awesome. I have modified the rooms in a way that everybody can participate. So everybody, please join the breakout rooms. Go ahead.
finding store or possible outcome. Okay, well, I Okay. Y el no, WhatsApp. No, método objetivo. Uh -huh. Es un repaso. Uh -huh. Feedback. Uh -huh. Un retroalimentación. Questions for vocabulary? Both get. Ah, okay, budget. Mm -hmm. And no knowledge gap. Those are the ones missing for you. Are you finish? No. No, teacher. Mm -hmm. I don't know the meaning the budget. 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 It's when budget. you when you organize uh, the money that you are going to spend. For example, imagine that you are going to uh, go on vacations and you say, okay, I'm going to go on vacations. Here I have $100, $10 for the food, $10 for the gas, $10 for uh, the hotel, $10 for whatever. Understand? Okay. And knowledge gap? Knowledge, it's just the word knowledge, knowledge, it's when you know about something. Okay. For example, Jill, you have a really good knowledge about grammar, but knowledge gap, it's when you don't know about something. You're missing something. Okay, I will go to a different room right now. If you have questions, let me know. All right. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, questions? No question. Okay, I will be here in case you need my help. Qualification. Well, qualification, pienso que es el primero. A quality that makes someone. It's able, pero no estoy seguro. Qualification. Quality that makes someone. With table for a particular job. Yeah, adecuado. Una cualidad. Knowledge, knowledge es el conocimiento. Sí. Mm -hmm. No puede ser helpful. Ok, bien. La meta dice que es buscar el resultado posible outcome de esa forma. Híjole, ya no otra vez. <laughs> Do you need help with vocabulary or anything? For example, a desired result of possible outcome. 
the goal. Excuse me, which one? Goal, goal, goal. Goal, 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 goal. Hey, re remember that, for example, when you are on a race, right? So there is a goal, all right? That you can actually uh, practice with. One second. Okay, so let's see. Cuando usted gana a uh, una carrera, ¿a dónde, a dónde va, a dónde llega, my friend? The goal. The, the goal. Entonces, ¿qué sería la goal? What's the meaning of goal? Okay. ¿Una qué sería? Una, una meta. Exactly. That's correct. I think that I decided result of possible outcome. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Is correct. Correct. Ah, okay. This is a goal. The item number five. One second here. ¿Cuál falta? Uno, dos, tres, las cuatro y las cinco. For me, the number four is knowledge is a, an irregular balance of what a person should know. De lo que una persona pudiera conocer, o sea, sería knowledge. Un balance mm -hmm. irregular de lo que una persona puede conocer, para mí sería knowledge. Mm -hmm. Y la última sería helpful information, quien apoya el coaching. Great job, guys. You're doing good. Así como va para bien. Super nice. Okay. Thank you, teacher. All right. I will go to a different room. If you need help, let me know. Okay. ¿Qué más falta que hacer? Creo que es la la desired result or possible outcome. You guys finished? You guys finished? Almost, teacher. Almost. Um, suena bien para mí. No, teacher, todavía no. Ok. Pero déjeme ver que... No me termina de cargar bien esto. Sí suena bien este... su respuesta. Pero me confundí en las últimas. Uh, hmm. Budget. ¿Cuál, ¿Cuál le dejo a budget? Budget. 
is an estimation of income and, and expenses. Uh -huh. Okay. okay. Right. Feedback. Uh, mm -hmm. Numbers. Num number six. And uh, regular um, what about qualifications? Qualification. A quality that makes someone suitable for a particular job. Oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So do you have questions? Mm, not teacher. No questions so far, teacher. Okay, excellent. No problem, no worries, okay? But thank you, teacher. You're welcome. So are you guys sure. finished or should I give you more time? Just a minute. Okay, no problem. Uh, helpful information or criticism about the performance of a person? I think is number five. Touching. Pero de esas tengo dudas. Sí, sí, a mí también me queda duda. Which um, one? Um, number five, coaching. Coaching, 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 coaching. Mm -hmm. helpful, helpful information or criticism about the performance of a person. Mm -mm. Mm. The processes of improving the performance of an employee? Yes. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> so yes, that's correct. Okay. okay. Number four. Number four. Feedback. Feedback. Esa sí tal vez sería la que estábamos diciendo. Mm -hmm. That's correct. And the last one, an irregular balance of what a person should know. Um, mm -hmm. Knowledge gap, uh, teacher. Yes. What does mean knowledge gap in English? Yeah. Well, first of all, let's define knowledge. Remember that knowledge, it's something that you we know, you know right? Yes. And a knowledge gap, it's like something that you are missing. So, you know, for example, let's say um, you know about simple past, but you are missing some rules. So you have a gap. So you're missing some information from simple past. Understand? Uh uh, yes, yes, I understand. All right, great, excellent. So is the is the is the the last one an irregular balance of what a person should know? Great, 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 excellent. Okay, guys, we are going to close the um, breakout rooms right now. You will have one more minute to finish, and then we are going to join the main session. Okay. Okay, thank teacher. You. Thank you. Thank you very much.
uh, hello, hello, everybody else. Welcome back to the main session. So right now we are going to, um, you know, continue with this activity so we can see what the answers are, right? So let's see here. Hey, was it difficult for you people or was it actually easy? Oh, by the way, I fixed my camera. You can see me now. All right, so hello. Um, was it easy? Yes or no? No, yes, yes, no. No easy, teacher. No easy. Ah, oh my God. Well, we will see if it is true or not. All right, let's see. Now, uh, number, well, let's start with this one. What is a goal? Number one, what's a goal? Excuse me, one more time. A uh, desire. A desire mm -hmm. or possible outcome. Outcome. All right. Very good. Excellent. So he is saying that is this is the number one. Agree or disagree, guys? Yes or no? Yes. 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 Yeah, that's correct. Thank you. Good job. Now, let's see. Tell me, please, what is a feedback? Mm -hmm. Helpful yeah. information or criticism about the performance of a person. Thank you very much. That's correct. That is feedback, all right? Good job. Excellent. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Now tell me, what is um, budget? Asset uh, is an estimation of income and expenses. That is correct. Thank you very much for this one, right? So it is a, oops, people, we didn't say this one. Ustedes no me dicen. All right, so it's like here, and this is budget. Three, correct, awesome. Okay, uh, what about knowledge gap? Um, irregular balance of what a person should know. Thank you, all right. So what is number five, coaching? A quality that make uh, some, someone is vital suitable for suitable suitable yes for a particular job for a particular job all right excellent thank you very much so let's see and that is not correct uh, what is it coaching is the process of improving the performance of an employee yay it's this one this is coaching all right so very good, excellent. And obviously qualification is gonna be this one right here. Thank you very much, okay? You have been doing a very good job. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, let me just uh, ask you this question. Do you have questions about the vocabulary, my friends? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Let's see. If I said, for example, let's see here, Edwin, 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 what is knowledge gap? Mm -hmm. But don't read the definition there. So tell me, for example, in Spanish, how can I translate knowledge gap? Mm -hmm. Anybody who can help me, people? Conocimiento. Brecha de conocimiento. That is correct. Just the word knowledge, right? It's going to be conocimiento, right? But then when you have knowledge gap, that is, it will be una eh, brecha de conocimiento or una pequeña falta de conocimiento. Very good. Excellent. Thank you very much. All right. Okay, good. Excellent. So uh, what's next one there? It will be uh, feedback. What is feedback? Hmm? It's like, like mention something again. To mention something again, it will be just like, it's just when 
I am telling you what you did good and what you need to improve. Right. Mm -hmm. In Spanish, it's a retroalimentation. Some it is correct. Context. Una retroalimentación. Yes. Let's see on. Very good. Excellent. All right. Then what we have here, how would you translate this one? Budget. Mm. El presupuesto. El presupuesto, exactly. That's correct. El presupuesto, very good. Excellent. And then, how would you translate uh, the next one here? How would you translate, for example, that word? Coaching. Entrenador o. Mm, no, that would be like something similar. Like, exactly. That would be better. Entrenamiento, yes. Entrenador would be like just the word coach, right? But this is mm -hmm. going to be entrenamiento, of course. Mm -hmm. And then, what about the last one? Qualifications. Qualidades. Qualidades, basically. That's correct. All right. And the first one right here, my friends. Metas. Metas, all right. The objectives, all right. Super good. Thank you, all right. So that's it. Thank you very much in this one. Now, it's time for you to go back to the breakout rooms to continue with the next activity. But first of all, let me show you what the next activity is, all right? So this is just what we're going to be doing right now. So you need to continue reading and associating those concepts. All right, I need a volunteer right now who can help me with the instruction, please, the instruction. Mm -hmm. What's the instruction here? Okay. Um, uh... Identifying training opportunities for personnel. Label, uh, the label the description of the process with the right heading. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. So basically what we are going to do is we are going to use this on these positions or a key or whatever you consider it goes, all right? So this is just like the definition and for example, what you have to do is just, let's see, okay, number four is uh, analyze the job. Analyze, sorry. Oops, analyze the job. But to me, esta, it's the correct one. So I'm gonna do this one. So I'm going to read the description and then I'll continue with this one. Remember, here in this part, you are going to move this one right here, que le corresponde a esa description, okay? So, lo que va aquí es lo que está descrito aquí. Y así con las demás. All right. Is that clear? Yes. Hello, hello. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, great. Excellent. So, remember, you have to read this paragraph right here. Tienen que leer esto, right? Y seleccionar cuál de estas, which of them, es la que mejor Sería para poner en este espacio que tenemos aquí en blanco. All right, so in this blank space right here. Okay, questions? No questions? No questions, teacher. Okay, remember that this is on your book. All right, so you can check it right there or you can take the screenshot here as well. No problem, it's the same thing here. Now, questions? If not, we will go to the breakout rooms right now. Okay, excellent. I'm going to send this to the WhatsApp group, my friends, so you can um, have the screenshot there so you can work on this one or you can access to your books if you have them ready there, all right? So you can see that in a better quality, of course. So let's see. Breakout rooms, let's go back. Continue, please join the breakout rooms, my friend.
Okay, great. Hello, my friends. Are you yes, working teacher. on the activity? Yes, teacher. Okay, excellent. So I am going to stay here in this room for a couple of minutes. If you have questions, just let me know. I'm here, okay? Okay. Okay, girls, I'm going to go to a different room. If you need help, just call me, okay? Okay, teacher, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Find the best way to provide training. One. Um, one coaching, short term and long term training, uh, learning. Decide the option the best with the needs of your staff and company. Do you have questions? Do you need my help with anything? No, teacher. Okay, excellent. I am going to stay right now here in the room. In case that you need my help, you can ask me, okay? Thanks. Okay, fine. This is the stuff that you need to use. This checklist and every take progress. This goes in this goes in this great sponsor. And number five is evaluate performance after training. Mm -hmm. Eh, ¿Cómo sería? Ajá. O sea, como evaluar la, 
¿cómo se dice? Como el progreso, como el, la mejora después de la capacitación. ¿Mm? A mí me parece que es la número cinco, donde dice discuss and describe this, the responsibilities of the position with the employee write down indicator of, of can, oh, number two. ¿Qué dice usted, Catherine? Identify personal current skill and knowledge. And the number en qué no lo que pasa es que la estaba leyendo todas para ver este qué, qué, qué era lo que comprendía mejor y me había ido hasta las cinco. So she read everything. <laughs> Siempre la misma, sí, sí. Wow. 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 For me, um, the number three is uh, identify personal, current skill and knowledge. Identify personal, current skill and knowledge. Okay. Mm -hmm. Identify personal, current skill. Which one is that one? Um, knowledge. It's knowledge. What number? Uh, three. So number three. And that is what? Um, identify yeah. personal current skill and knowledge. Mm -mm. No. No. That's a different one. Okay. Okay. Identify. Identify personal current skill and net knowledge. No identificar yo también pensaba que era eso um. <laughs> es científico que es como una lectura comprensiva. Yes, that's correct. You have to analyze. Vamos a ver. So you you finished number one and number two. Ah, uh, number one is um, design skills and is knowledge, knowledge gaps. gaps. That's correct. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Okay. Number one is correct. Number two. Um, identify training solution. That is also correct. Okay. Entonces hay que cambiar las otras, nada más. Eh, ya voy entendiendo más. <laughs> okay, great. Excellent. <laughs> All right. Um, I will go to a different room. If you need help, let me know, okay? Okay. Okay. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay, number
Mm -hmm. Excellent. So you finished, no? Yeah. Wait one second. Okay, let's see this one. Let me see if they are correct or not. Number one, list of opportunities. Um, identify, no, not correct. Number two, identify training solutions, correct. Number three, not, not correct. Number four, not correct. And number five, not correct. So you have only one correct, guys. I recommend you to check it again so you can try to fix it. Okay? Okay. Mm -hmm. Only Remember. one correct. Number, number two. two. Number one? Number one is not that one. Wait, hold on. I don't remember if I said number one or number two. Number one. Yeah, this is number two. Okay, I am going to stay here. If you have questions, let me know, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Only two is correct, the number one, no. No, just number two. Entonces, la, la uno <coughs> is design skill and knowledge is gaps. Mm -hmm. Decide the skills and knowledge the gaps. Yay, you got it. Anything else? Evaluate performer after training. The number three. Yes. Uh, uh, excellent. Yes, one, two, three. Okay, ya les dejo dos nada más. I'm going to go to a different room, okay? La última es analyze the job. Mm -hmm. Easy, ya ven que se podía. See you later, my friends. It's easy. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Let's check. Mm -hmm. Number one. Let's see here. Let me see. Number one. Beside the skills and knowledge gaps. Correct. Number two. Identify training solutions. Number three says evaluate performance after training. Yeah. Number four, knowledge. Hay que revisar cómo está escrito knowledge ahí. All right, and analyze the job. Amazing. That was actually super, super, super good. Everything is correct. Hey, okay, teacher, uh, I have a question. Tell me, please. Uh, what does mean e-learning? E-learning e is in the second one here. Yeah. Uh, E-learning, it's just like um, like aprendizaje en línea, you know? It's electronic. It's like the e E-learning. E-learning, yeah. It's like the, like the work email that uh, needs something in the computer, for example. Exactly. exactly. Electronic. Exactly. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. 
Uh -huh. Como la like, aprendizaje. Oh, we, are, we, we are good here. We are the right answers. Yeah, you got the right answers. That was actually super nice, right? Was it difficult? Uh, so, so. A little. <laughs> <laughs> you know, this is my purpose with this type of activities, right? That you develop your um, English thinking, you know? So that you don't go only translator, but try to understand the idea so then you can associate words. That's the purpose of these activities. At the beginning, it can be a little bit difficult because, of course, it's the first time, right? But yes, little right. by little, you are going to improve more. And I'm happy that at least in this group right here, you got the things quickly, right? So thank you, my friends. All right. Thanks, thank you, teacher. Okay, thank you. So we are going to close the rooms right now, and I will see you in the main room, okay? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so we are just waiting for the rest of your classmates to um, join, 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 join the class again. Okay, everybody, it's back. Thank you very much, right? So now we are going to discuss what are the possible answers. What are we going to do? It's going to be very simple. The first uh, thing that you guys are going to do is you are going to read the whole description here. And then you are going to tell me the answer. Okay? Yes? Yes. Thank you. So who is going to be my volunteer for number one? Me teacher. Me teacher. Okay, I have two here. Let me see who did it first. Um, the first ladies. <laughs> okay, so you said in English, ladies first. Thanks. Okay. List all opportunity and areas of improvement where training is necessary to increase effectiveness. Mm -hmm. Decide if there is a gap between the knowledge and skill of the staff. Ask employees what areas they need help, help with. Okay, and what is that one? Um... Decide skills and knowledge gap. All right, so let's see here. The first one you said it is decide skills, decide skills and knowledge gaps. Decide skills and knowledge gap and knowledge and gaps. Knowledge gaps. Very good, excellent. So guys, Jill says that this is the answer for that one. Yes or no? Yes, teacher, it's correct. Yes, teacher. Thank you very much. That is absolutely correct. Very good. So you have the first one right here. So we eliminate this one right here because we already use it. Okay, excellent, thank you. All right, what about number two? Number two volunteer. Oh, that's Eduardo, right? Okay, Eduardo, it's your turn now. Teacher, sorry, I still like novera. Oh, really? That's true, right? Fine. 
Okay, sorry, just type the side skills and knowledge gaps. Okay, Eduardo, go ahead. Thank you, Andre. Uh -huh. The number two, find the best way to provide training. Uh -huh. One on one coaching, short term and long term training, uh -huh. e learning. Decide the option the best fits the need of your staff and company. Mm -hmm. Is a uh, identify training solution. Hi, training. Oh, sorry. Uh huh. Identify training solutions. Okay, which is this one right here? Yes or no, people? Yes. What? Yes. Excellent. Right. So, identify yeah. training solutions, right? Thank you, thank you. All right, so let's continue with the next one. All right, so let's see, what is it here? Volunteer? Ursula, um, thank you, Ursula, go ahead. Ask the staff members to use a checklist and evaluate their progress. Look mm. at the work areas, area and check if there is still evidence of a deficiency in skill or knowledge? And the answer is um, evaluate performance after training. Mm -hmm. After training, very good. Evaluate. Performance after training. Excellent. Thank you. So you said this one, my friends? Yes or no? Yes. Evaluate performance after training. There you go. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. I need another volunteer for number four. Who's my volunteer? My teacher. Go ahead, my friend. Observe what the employee does well. And what needs improvement? Check for qualification, training courses, and responsibilities from previous positions. Get more individual information from human resource. Thank you. What is that? Is identify identify personal current skill and knowledge. Okay, personnel. Current. Skills and knowledge. Okay, excellent. So let's see. This one. So it goes here. Yes or no, people? Yes, teacher. Thank yes, teacher. you. So we have the last one, which obviously is going to be analyze uh, the job. All right, which is going to be, oops. Sorry. My goodness. All right, which is analyze the job. And who can help me to read it? Please, a volunteer for reading this. Hey, teacher. Thank you, go ahead. Analyze, analyze the job. The school and describe their responsibilities of a position with the employee. We write down indication of knowledge and skill that match the position, identify the process, Shan. Shang in the description. 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 Correct. Okay. Questions? More questions? Vocabulary, people. Pronunciation. No teacher. Okay. No problem. Well. If you don't have questions for me, I have some questions for you. Are you ready? 
By the way, I recommend you to take the screenshot to this slide with the answers because you are going to need it. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Did you take the screenshot? Yes, teacher. All right. Thank you. If you can share it to the group, I would truly appreciate that. All right. So let's see here. And now, let's see. Ready? Okay, now let me share something here quickly. Excellent. Let's just go in here. Let me clean clear this one. Oops, it's this one right here. All right, so now because it's this time, right? So let's see. The link has been shared in the chat here in Zoom and also in uh, the WhatsApp group. So you can access to the test in at any, any, um, in any way, all right? So I'm going to stop the screen right here and I'm going to start that one here. Okay, so I'm just starting it. Okay, let's see. It's loading, it's loading, it's loading. Okay, very good. So I can see a lot of people joining quickly. So the first five people who join the test they get 600 additional points. So that's, it says here, Menjima, which I guess is Jill, Nuria, Ursula, Daniel, and the last one was Moritza, que lo que quedaron 600, right? Y ahí this next one, 400, y ahí son Eduardo and David, they go like 200, right? Very good. One more and we start the activity, okay? Let's see, just one more. Uh-huh. I got my people here. Come on. Where is, for example, Mr. Luna? Oh, he says Mr. Luna there. Esmeralda, which I guess is Sonia. All right. So, Jill is the first one. Okay. Maritza. Okay. All right. All right. Yay. Okay. Very good. Ready, my friends? Yes or yes? Okay, let's start. Okay, excellent. So Ursula, it's winning with the first answer correctly. Good job, good job. Mm Excellent, Ursula. You go like don't refer. Number one, Mr. Luna, it's competing against you. Okay. Awesome, awesome.
Super good, you almost finished. Oh my goodness, there is a 200 points difference between Ursula and Mr. Luna. And also Nuria is trying to get the first place here. All right, Ursula just finished with 8,400 points. That's like, like 900 points more than Mr. Luna. Let's see if Mr. Luna can reach Ursula. Okay, so yeah, Ursula and Mr. Luna finish, but Ursula entered to the test before Mr. Luna. That's the reason why there's a difference for 200 points. But you you two guys, um, Wilfredo and Ursula, you were able to answer everything correctly. Super nice. I like that. Good job. All right. So let's see. Oh, Maritza. Maritza removed Nuria from the third place. Okay. Gio, what happened, Gio? Evelyn is there participating. Edwin as well. All right, all right, all right. Very good, very good. Mm -hmm. When one person that finishes the test right now, we just finished the thing here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Excellent, time's up, all right? So we got here the first place. Oh, Maritza removed a new, a, what happens here? Oh my goodness. I thought Ursula was the first place, what happened? We will see the list. Mr. Luna, Ursula, Maritza, and okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see what happens. Ursula, you went the fourth place. Vamos a ver los puntos. Du, 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 du. Okay, very good. Oh, it means like I got only first places here. The same puntaje, the punctuation is the same. The punctuation, the score, my God. Okay, super good. I like it. Everybody there, congratulations. You were doing a very good job on this one, right? So that was easy. It's the whole vocabulary that we have been practicing tonight, reading and discussing. Of course, that was a piece of cake. Okay, well, excellent. So, well, let's just go back here to uh, the last activity for tonight where you have to actually uh, prepare, you know, something here quickly. Let me just share this. And it says right there, all right, excellent. So that's the instruction. Everybody here, can someone help me to read the instruction? Mm -hmm. Who's my volunteer? Oh, come on, it's just the instruction, my friends. Me, teacher. Thank you, <clears throat> go ahead. Write a 10 line paragraph explain the importance of personal training. Of personal training, all right, excellent. So. Then this is what we're going to be doing. So you prepare an idea explaining uh, the importance of uh, personal training, right? And then you can go ahead and, um, you know, share that with the class in a moment, right? If you have a computer, you can type it on, you know, on Microsoft Word or a notepad. And, and then you can share the screen and project what you have been typing. Or you can, you know, Take a picture of a notebook and send it to the WhatsApp group so I can project it. But I want you to like do it, right? So, uh, questions of the about the activity? No questions? Not sure. 
Okay, excellent. So let's go back to the breakout rooms again. So you can continue working on the same activity here, right? Excellent, let's see here. All right, so let's see. Mr. Pardo, do you have problems to join the room? Okay, Ursula? Ursula, Ursula? Hello, Nuria. Nuria, Nuria. Good evening. Hi. Questions, help, assistance? No. Okay, okay, okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
ok Questions? No questions? No teacher. Okay, very good. I will go to a different um a different room. If you need help, just let me know, okay? Okay. Thank you. O algunas mejoras. After analyzing. Hello, hey guys. You have questions? Uh, no questions so far, teacher. Okay, very good. Moment. Okay, I am going to We're stay. trying. No worries. I am going to to um stay in the room, right? If you have questions, just let me know. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. What was the idea, Marita? Uh, okay. I forgot the idea. Um. Analyzing of qualification. las cualidades qualifications ok mm -hmm. um, ok girl, then let me see uh, Analysis. Analysis. The evaluate. Mm -hmm. No recuerdo si le hemos puesto, pero. No, no, sí. Evalu evaluate. The performer performance of employee. Ajá. O employee's performance. Employee's performance.
finally. Uh, se me fue la idea. <laughs> Find it. Finally. Yes. Más o menos por dónde iba la idea. Eh, mm, ahorita, 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 ahorita. Eh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, teacher, I have a question. Tell me. Um, ¿Cómo podemos decir, how can we, how do you say, um, podemos acoplar? Mm, okay, I can translate that for you, but what's the idea you're trying to say right now? Uh, okay. De esta forma, porque en esta, de esta manera, nosotros podemos acoplar al personal en un área específica. Ok, let me see if I understood correctly. Porque de esta manera, nosotros podemos acoplar al personal de una manera distinta. En un área, en un área específica. All right, because in this way we can eh, engage the, sta the staff in a different area. It will be like engage, the word you were looking for. Uh, it's engage. Mm -hmm. In a specific area. Esa era la, la idea, eh, Marita. La idea que tenía. Oh, okay. Pero no, no nos salieron las 10 líneas, teacher. Hey, hey, so add more. <laughs> A menos que no el tamaño. No, come on. You can actually use uh, the information that you also have before that paragraph. You know, like you can mention some of the steps and how would you apply them, right? Like give an example. What company are you talking about? Are you talking about a restaurant? Are you talking about a call center? Are you talking about a bank? So what company are you talking about? So for example, you, Mr. Luna, where do you work? Uh... I work at EFL, EFL Global in Spanish. And that is what? It's a, a logistic business, logistic okay. movement. Okay, excellent. So do you receive training over there about specific um, areas? Uh, at the moment, no, because I am uh, in the process of, uh, uh, in my case, I am in the process of training. Oh, but okay. I'm not learning a, 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 a note because um, I'm just watching. Uh -huh. uh, okay, at that's the moment, fine. My, my, my co-workers uh, does, don't have time to, to coach me. To coach you. All right. I see. Oh, I can see Guillermo is here. Guillermo, hello. I guess he's here. Guillermo. Guillermo. Guillermo, 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 Guillermo. Oh my goodness, Guillermo went to sleep. 
he could have given us a good example because he works in a call center, so they receive trainings very often. What about you, Maritza? Do you receive trainings in your company? No, teacher. No. Probably. Sometimes, because now we are changing system. Ah, uh -huh. okay. Pero por lo general, no. Okay, excellent. So uh, you can add, what I'm trying to tell you is this one. So you can include the information that you see, for example, um, let me see, where can I? Um, oh, okay. One sec, one sec. Okay, so... Okay, there you go. So this information that you have there, so you can use it and add it to the answer, all right? So for example, let's see, you can talk about any company's example. You can talk about the restaurants, which are the companies that we have been talking about, all right? You can say, for example, a, it's that you can, you can uh, when you go to a restaurant, the employees receive trainings about different areas because you have received feedback, usted reciben feedback, por ejemplo, de un cliente, de su supervisor, so deciden que hay que darles un entrenamiento, so you can add those impressions. Because it says right here, for example, the importance of personal training help us to identify skills and knowledge gaps by listing all opportunities and areas of improvement in order to increase the effectiveness. Also, it is useful because in that way we update the technological knowledge of the staff and in some cases it's necessary to identify some areas of improvements and analyze personal qualifications after finished the analysis it's important to evaluate the employees performance finally it is useful to evaluate the employees performance because in that way we can engage the staff in a specific area but that is perfect okay but we can try to add an example you can say like, for example, in the call center, agents receive all right, have training if they after got feedback from quality to improve on a specific area like this one take a look for example in a call, in a call center Agents have training if they got feedback from quality to improve on a specific area, right? So basically, it's just adding a little bit more. Un pequeño ejemplo usando una compañía y un escenario. Understand? Mm -hmm. Yes, teacher. We understand. Uh, by the way, in the in my previous job, I received a lot of trainings. Ah, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, I work in a in a manufacturing business. Uh -huh. And uh, I received trainings about, for example, technological trainings, uh, as we mentioned in the in the um, in the paragraph, technological trainings uh, in, for example, in Excel, in order to improve my skills uh, uh -huh. in the um, uh, how do you say calculus. Mm, it depends on what you're trying to say because you can be calculate or, or, or... yes if, okay. in order to 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 analyze uh, some uh, budgets for example some requests because i uh, i requested uh, supplies supplies for my area uh -huh. and i need to to use the the excel program and 
I receive uh, other other um trainings like uh, the um the way of 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 use the the machines uh the ways of use the 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 system the correct way mm -hmm. because uh we learned uh with my, uh, I learned with my coworkers but we receive a training uh of the IT manager mm -hmm. in the business and uh he 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 he, he uh, was the the person who teach okay about Great. The, Excellent. The, the, thank you that's the, what i was talking about exactly an example right so uh, just what you told me right now that's okay all right, but we're going to close the rooms right now because it's time to see the answers. Perhaps we can be a volunteer and read your paragraph in the group, okay? Okay, sure. thank you. Thank you very much, guys. You did it wonderfully. Okay, so we are just waiting for everybody else to join the group again. Perfect, I can see everybody has joined the class, okay. All right, everybody, it's time for um, you to share your paragraph, all right? So tell me uh, who's going to be my volunteer for sharing the paragraph. Mm -hmm. Who's going to be the volunteer? Tell me. Me, teacher. Excellent. Please, you can share your screen if, if it is possible for you. Okay. It is important because staff training is the to the success of the companies, mm -hmm. employees better develop their skill and increase their ear. knowledge. Siempre me trago en esa palabra. You said knowledge? Knowledge. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> knowledge. Uh, generating greater produ productivity for the company and evidencing areas for improvement. 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 Thank you, my friend. Improvement. Right, so I'm sending this one. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That was actually a good job. I was just correcting some pronunciation like key knowledge and improvement there, right? So you can have an idea about how you pronounce them. Thank you, Sonia. Very good job. All right. What about the rest? Any other volunteer? Mr. Pardo, please go ahead, my friend. Okay. The personal training is important because when the people receive the training, it helps to eliminate some doubts and also helps to create awareness about each job done because many people are very irresponsible with the assigning jobs, either due to lack of knowledge or because they don't want. Oh, that was a good one. Super nice, Mr. Pardo. I, we, we really miss you in the class, my friend. So thank you. Your answers are always very good and correct. Thank you, my friend. No corrections, so you did good. And let's see, the last one, the last volunteer, people, so we can finish the class tonight. Who's going to be the last volunteer? Ursula, is that you? Yes. Great, excellent. Right, Ursula, what <laughs> happened? You disappeared for a moment. Uh, yes. 
Okay. Um, okay. The trainings to employees give the opportunities to improve the quality of their work and productivity mm -hmm. across the organization. Effective employee training can improve loyalty, satisfaction, and commitment to the organization. Training also helps the employee to earn more skills, making the teamwork as strong and competitive as possible. That's it. Okay, that was awesome. Super nice. I like it, right? So very surprised on your answer. Very well elaborate, the good structure, a good grammar used as well. So thank you. It was super, super nice. Okay, everybody, we are going to stop right here because it's time for you to rest. Thank you for participating in all the activities tonight. Um, and I invite you to continue doing it that every single class. I will see you tomorrow. Have a good night, everybody. Take care. Good night. 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 Have a good night. Bye-bye. Thank you.